Meet Mike Rinder, a featured source in Alex Gibney's video on the Church of Scientology. A man expelled long ago for malfeasance, criminal activity, incompetence, lying, and laziness, which is legendary and well documented. I think the epitome of Mike Rinder is he was lazy. He was absolutely lazy. All he did was refer things to other people and get away with things. And, you know, he never did any work of himself. He's not a productive person. He is very lazy. He will pretend like he does work, pretend like he knows something when he doesn't. It was common knowledge that when you went up to his office, in just about every case, whatever program he was meant to be working on, he wasn't doing it. This was sheer slothfulness. There was no other cause or justification other than his own laziness. Mike Rinder does not, has not, and never will work. And Rinder admitted to it all in a public announcement. I was very lazy and did everything based on the seat of my pants, he wrote. I avoided responsibility by deliberately remaining ignorant of situations. Yes, Mike Rinder had more important things to do, like sleep. And does Rinder ever love to sleep? He'll do it anywhere, at any time, and in any position. Mike Rinder was notorious for falling asleep in the most unbelievable situations. You know, like there'd be a really energetic, enthusiastic meeting going on about something, and he'd be asleep. He had absolutely no problem, no qualms, no hesitation in just nodding off. He had perfected this technique of sitting in a corner and, you know, with his back to the rest of the room, and he would look like he was just in the corner reading something, and you'd go around and he would be asleep. I would cough or, you know, make a motion you know, something to get him to wake up or to be startled or something. That happened a number of times. It just became a joke after that, like sleepy Mike, you know, like sleeping on the job again. I guess you would just call it incorrigible. Sleepy Mike Rinder has admitted to this close personal relationship with Mr. Sandman. I fell asleep at my desk many times, he wrote. I am now known for falling asleep. In fact, Mike Rinder will float off to dreamland at the most unlikely moments. Rinder fell asleep while playing a short informational video for a reporter. He nodded off at a conference table during a deposition. And when charged with prepping legal documents for a court presentation, he was instead found snoozing. Here he is getting some beauty rest while supposedly rehearsing a speech. And no... He's not suffering from a medical condition. When not hugging his pillow, Mike Rinder has been spending his time failing at a variety of jobs. He didn't last as a car salesman, leaving two different dealerships. He lost his job at a marketing company after getting nothing done. Then he got a job at an ice cream store and lost that one too. The latest flop for Rip Van Rinder. That's Mike Rinder, Alex Gibney's prized source and promotional poster boy for his so-called documentary, here to spin the latest tale he's dreamed up, if you can rouse him from his slumber.